good morning and welcome back to the channel so glad you guys stopped by um, we're gonna be doing a uh, smaller project today maybe two um, first we're gonna start off with uh, the 71 Camaro over here hopefully the Sun's not too much in your eyes um, gotta get this moved and then um, hook up to the Nighthawk here, pull this out, put it in that spot, and then we're going to bring the Camaro in here. Uh, what we got to do with it is uh, I got to change the uh, Hurst uh, shifter head and uh, get it shifting better. The, uh, the gates are not working real good on that shifter and I've messed with it and girlfriend hates driving it because of that and uh, need to fix that got to be on the good list not the shit list so we get hooked up to some stuff and then um, we will get back in here so Camaro's over there Nighthawks in that spot let's uh let's go bring the Camaro in this jack handles in the way sorry So we get the car in. Um, the shifter I have in mind is this uh, Hurst Competition Plus one. Um, this is the one that came with my Muncie M22 Rock Crusher when I bought my uh, Trans for my 55. Now I'm on Trans number three. Now I'm on a Lenko, but anyway, point being, um, had that shifter for a while. Um, I did have it set aside for a reason, but it's further along, um, for me to use it on that than on this. There's no reason to, uh, short the Camaro out. So I'll give my girlfriend a good deal on the price on that. So. Maybe some back rubs or something. All right. Well, we're going to get some breakfast real quick. Who's we? Well, me and me. And then we'll be back. See you in a, see you in a bit. We're in the Camaro. Um, whoop. Let's place you here. So let's get this uh, show started. done this all from the bottom possibly the plate comes completely off without uh, let's see here well I'm gonna take this top bolt off because it's I'm here right now and then I will jack this up and then get under there so all right we're gonna come back all I'm gonna do just take this top bolt off. This actually bolts it to this bracket that bolts the transmission. There is another bolt down here. But the way the sheet metal is, it doesn't look like, and I know I didn't remove this carpet. The, the way this bolt looks like is it, it, I shoved it up through. So I might have to find a different back plate, which I have. 
So I'll get this out and then I'm gonna jack the car up and then we're gonna come right back. So as expected, the uh, shifter plate is different, but I might be able to utilize that. Now, um, what I'm going to have to do is get this unbolted here, here, and here, and um, ultimately I'll probably just take the arms off and then uh, get the uh, arms taken off this. Um, so let me get you positioned so you're looking straight up. I'm not sure how the quality is going to be of the view here. Let's see. All right. Now, if I can reach my stuff. effect that's coming at you all right <sighs> all right I'll see you top side so here's the shifter head we were shown before actually this might work here so this is stepping ahead here but I wanted to bring this up prior when you're setting up your shifter Brand new, they come with a pin that's quarter inch that goes into this little slot here. Now, what that does is that locks the um, the shift levers. You want to make sure it goes all the way into the end here, and they will not move. That is so you could get perfect gate action with your shifter. Now, if you didn't do something like that you try to eyeball it and you have the levers I'm going to exaggerate the hell out of it but you have the levers like that and like that and you're trying to do it and then you're like why the hell is my shifter not working well it's because you don't have the gate lined up so put that in get it all the way in you're good to go that's just a quarter inch bolt now, um, you could also use a, uh, a quarter inch uh, drill bit as well. Um, that's what I normally have used, but you know, quarter inch bolt works perfect and uh, I've got many of them. So that's your tech tip. Now, um, let's see here. Bought those. I didn't do my lunches. Oh, great. Okay. So, this is a shifter, as it was in the car. Now, I'm just going to line these up here for fun. See what I got going on. Steal that bolt. to a little bit of a read on this here um, 
So this is the shifter we're going to use. So yeah, everything looks like it's going to it's exact. So good. So the only thing it's going to do is going to move the the stick outwards. This is going towards the steering wheel. And um, let's see here. Actually, you know what? It brings the shifter back too towards the driver. That's going to work out good because the shifter was getting really close to the the gauge trio that are bolted to the bottom of the um, dash. So, all right. Well, so basically, we got to take these out. You pull these pins out, and you drop the levers out, and just reverse the action here. So, pretty easy. So, now if you could see it, this is exactly how it's oriented. This way it, it pushes down on the, well, it pulls the lever in the way this goes in. It hooks in and it keeps it nice and tight. I used an extra washer here. Oh, I had a plastic bushing here. Hmm. Well, I think I was using what I had. For some reason, I think I had to use this washer because it wasn't tight in there. So that's fine. I'll transfer that over. All right, so I'm going to get these transferred over. I'm going to be flip flopping all these, and we'll be right back. So we're back. It was actually pretty quick. Um, yeah, the reverse lever I had a uh, plastic bushing on, which is fine because the reverse is, you use that very little, but these I didn't have any washers on, but I, and I had the uh, brass uh, bushings so, or steel bushings. So um, those will work out real good, real positive. So um, yeah. So, this gets bolted back onto here. Same hardware. So that's all lined up in there. Um, I'm leaving this loose right now because it seemed like the the um, this piece came off much easier when it was able to uh, shift around. No pun intended. <laughs> so, and then. I got to bolt it back on using these top two bolts and then I believe this one right there that's got the newest witness mark so all right we're gonna uh, get skivvied under there and uh, get back into business here hopefully this works all right well the uh, GoPro died so now I'm on my fun phone again. Everybody knows my audio. All right. So I got everything bolted up. Shifter all in. And um, 
I found that the uh, link arms were off a little bit. Um, transitioning over to the shifter, um, which also could have been me pulling the linkage out because if you spin them, when you're pulling the linkage out, you will pull your adjustment out. And the pain in the butt is, if you can see my finger up here, I don't have any room to put that pin in there. I'd have to drill the floor and that involves taking the carpet out. So did some of my eyeball style alignment situation. Also feeling from the, the uh, reverse lever where that slot feels where it um, lines up. So then I was able to, I basically did it the wrong way, but the gate feels real good. So I guess I got lucky. I just didn't want to drill the floor again, just to put that pin in, um, which I would have felt, which I would have done to make the job work, but we didn't have to. So we got lucky. All right. Well, um, next is test drive and hopefully I could do that with the GoPro. It's charging up. So we'll see you in a little bit. Well, second job is, uh, getting the 55 looked at had something going on in the front end where while driving I don't know it was, I think it was making more of a noise at first and then uh, my girlfriend was like we should take this and see what's going on so you could listen to it I drove down the road just a little bit and I was like we're stopping here ain't this ain't working so I parked it and then I went to go move it again and the brakes were damn here not working um, so I think there's something going on with the driver's side front wheel area and it might be pushing the caliper in meaning giving me extremely low pedal let me see if this thing is uh, got a charge on it I hear a fuel pump Woo! yeah This has the Phytec fuel injection and uh, it's always worked pretty good so it starts right up. You don't have to go through those uh, warming up idle blues. Get this jacked up. We uh, jacked up the car on the control arm. This way, you could feel, you know, what's going on um, with the suspension without it being off load. That's a good way to check ball joints and everything else. Anyway. That's not good. Um, Going to get the uh, hubcap off. 
and get the I'm gonna start with the hubcap off be right there I'm trying to save battery on my uh, GoPro on the last uh, vi this is a continuation of video but it, it, it died and I've been charging it here and there well got the hubcap off and suspect here is this uh, trying to do this one-handed here um, suspect is is the dust cap is just about popping off um, so looks a little well this is dented from putting it on doesn't look like it's dented from all right let's see here Oh yeah. Well, we have the cotter pin still. It looks like we um, have uh, bad bearings. Bearings uh, went out on this thing. Oy. Okay. Don't know if I'm going to have those in stock. I'm going to have to see. I, I might, but oy. Well, I'm going to pull the outer bearing off, and I, I can't keep the car in overnight, so I want to try to keep this drivable, because we've been having monsoon season, and the black boat's got to come in, so let me see what I could do. You're right. Oh, well. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to drop you. No, seriously, I'm sorry. All right, how do you get this off here? loose so I could I gotta tighten it back up I'm gonna pull this off yeah. all right this is when all the guts probably spill out here Use of a relationship, huh? I'm trying to balance it on my knee. I don't have a tripod out here. Well, I do, but it's not really set up right now for a GoPro. It was set up for my cell. Let me see if I could, you know. Great. So the bad part of the bearing is still kind of fused on here. Let me see if I could pry this off. Here's a one-hander here. Oh, there we go. 
All right. I'm gonna try to balance you. Yeah. Right on my hairy knee. So this is the. <laughs> this was the bearing. So might be able to take this to the auto store and the rotor and be able to get something here. Oh boy. Never a dull moment. pretty messed up all right let me uh, get this over to my table get some of the uh, stuff out of here old bearings and see what I got to do here because now I think I've jumped into the freaking rabbit hole here all right so update went to my stocking location found a bearing that fits in there um, I, the race is pretty trashed as per how this feels. Um, this bearing, I don't know the age of it, so I really don't want to trust it. What I'm going to do at this point is I have the paperwork on this disc brake kit somewhere. I believe it came from Speedway. And the back, um bearings a little feels a little funny too so I think everything just had serious trauma so what I'm gonna do is just gonna get this bolted back on and this way the car could roll and do what it's got to do until we uh, get the right stuff diesel do you agree huh like your tail up oh, he agrees got a tail wag all right, so I'll get this back on, get it bolted up, and uh, that will conclude my uh, little maintenance day on the girlfriend's cars. If you met it before on the channel, this is Chester, 55 Chevy, 210, put a 350 in it and a four-speed, uh, Fitech fuel injection, vintage air, runs great. Awesome car. Love it. Um, just had a little limp. So we'll get his, uh, we'll fix his paw for now. And uh, we'll get the parts and maybe we'll go through a whole nother video on how to replace bearings and seals and whatnot. Does that sound good, Diesel? Diesel says like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one. Thanks a lot for uh, coming along and watching my day. Welcome to another installment of how how a big boy could fit underneath a Camaro. <sighs> I wish my lift was uh, freed up.